We stand outside Ryogoku Sumo Hall with the beautiful Sakura tree behind us, and we welcome you to the Sakura Genesis post-game show here at NJPWWorld.com. I'm Kevin Kelly along with Don Callis. What a night, what an event, over four hours long, title matches, all sorts of drama unfolding, but if you didn't see the show and you want to avoid spoilers, shut it up. Okay, let's talk spoilers. Let's talk the fact that now Kazuchiko Okada Don has tied Hiroshi Tanahashi 11 consecutive title defenses in a given ring. Impressive. It's been a great couple of years for him. Uh, it's been a long road. I'd like to have stock in whoever his physicians are. His body's got to be hurting. To me, I think in the next six months we see him lose that belt. Again, uh, there was also a post-match conversation involving, well, they sort of summoned him, uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. And wouldn't it be fitting that Okada break the record of Tanahashi, get to 12 title defenses by beating Tanahashi himself? We will follow that story here and we'll certainly have it for you, whether on NJPWWorld.com via press conference or in written form, NJPW1972.com. Uh, we had some bloodshed tonight as well. We had Cody busted open uh, in the tag team match against the Golden Lovers. We also had Will Ospreay split open on his head. Self-inflicted wound, if you will, uh, in that grueling war where he successfully retained uh, the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Let's talk about Ospreay for a second. How do we put his performance tonight in capsule? I think the true measure of his performance will be for Kushida, who likely will face him next. Because I think Osprey probably did six months worth of damage to his body in one night tonight. Not the cut. The cut is the least of the concerns. The neck, which has been giving him problems, was brutalized tonight by Marty. And I think Kushida, who's a great submission wrestler, I think Kushida might hook him with that hover line. How about Cody stealing one from uh, the Golden Lovers tonight? Roll up, hook of the tights, page out of the Don Callis playbook. It's, uh, it's old school heel tactics by Cody. Uh, he had a plan which was to get to Kenny Omega through Ibushi, and it worked to a T tonight. They were outmanned athletically, without a doubt, against Cody and Kenny. But the psychological warfare, I liken it to someone coming into your house and brutalizing your spouse and making you watch. That's the game plan of Cody with respect to Kenny and Cody. Hangman Page paid dividends for Cody tonight as well. Uh, if you don't go, you know, you don't realize just how important Hangman Page is to Team Cody, uh, it certainly came into play here tonight. Um, we saw. Naito continued to provoke Minoru Suzuki, and it seemed as if even when Suzuki did his best, Naito seemed unfazed. Was he phased? Is it an act? Where does Naito stand with Suzuki? Where do you think? I remember back in the day my friend Chris Jericho had a match with a six foot eight sumo wrestler here in Japan. And he came out and he gave the guy the finger and slapped him. And I said, why did you do that? Because Chris ended up going to the hospital. He said he was going to kick my ass anyway, so I figured I might as well do it. And to me, that's the Naito thing. He's spitting on Minoru Suzuki. Who does that? Someone with a death wish. But Suzuki's going to come at you either way. So Naito is trying to get in Suzuki's head. Everyone backs down from Suzuki, except Naito. So it might get him hospitalized, but it also might get him the Intercontinental title. How about the Killer Elite Squad, who got one up tonight on Evil and Sonata? Uh, there is no doubt that they will be in line for an IWGP Heavyweight uh, Tag Team Championship shot. The Junior Heavyweight title stay around the waist of Suzuki Goon as well. Kanemaru, Desperado, one more dirty trick than Hiromu and Bushi. You know what? Great night for Suzuki Goon in many respects. Killer Elite Squad has been one of the stories of 2018 so far. They've been dominant. Uh, I love Desperado and Kanemaru. I think they're a tremendous old school tag team. Suzuki Gun is on a roll this year, and I think we're going to see if that can continue as we move through into the G1. Obviously, tonight's announcement about the host cities for the G1 will have a lot of people talking as well. Folks from all over the world are making their plans to visit us here in Japan uh, during the months of July and August. So. The announcement will be up before you should be able to see it at njpwworld.com. That's going to do it. It has been an amazing month. We got here. I got here on the 5th. I'm going home on the 2nd. Can't wait to come back. 
Uh, did you have fun tonight? Phenomenal. Amazing. Thanks so much for joining us. For Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. We'll see you next time. We're live here at uh, Sakura Genesis, the post-game show. Thanks for joining us, everybody.